All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, post-market wrap-up on this lovely day. <laughs> Seriously lovely. May 26, 2020, and we're going to talk about a few things. Some of this is just really out there, and I mean way, way, way out there. All right, let's start off with the basics. Uh, nice rally on Wall Street, stocks higher across the board. Okay. Uh, what was the driver here? Uh, it's the vaccine. There's going to be a vaccine soon, so stocks are going up. That's the narrative. Uh, no, it's completely fake. <laughs> but you, again, this is the environment we are in. Uh, absolutely not. This is uh, this twisted machine, this thing, thing running the entire show, uh, and that is... Uh, you know, just money printing uh, like you can't believe, buying assets, trillions of dollars in stimulus. Okay, but today was another factor as well. Crude oil continues to go up. Uh, put on 2.5% today. What did this do? Well, you know already, if you follow this blog, energy, the whole energy sector higher. The whole financial sector higher. That's how it always works. This is why they prop up crude oil. And that carried the market with it up. Um, always the same story. It's a game they play. Good. They're going to play their game. We're going to play our game. Cryptocurrencies got hit across the board. So did silver and gold. Whenever you see a risk on, like now, meaning cash going into equities, fear of missing out, you see cash bleed out of things like gold, like silver, like cryptocurrencies. It's interesting. You're going to see this phenomenon over and over again. The 10-year yield, 0.69, not any real traction. I would like to have seen that come up higher. Um, the market did give up some gains moving into the close here, and I really feel that's because of the 10-year yield continues to drop in this twisted environment of, uh, of nonsense and more nonsense on top of more nonsense. So let's talk about what's funny. Literally, actually it's pathetic, not funny. So Larry Kudlow, our friend Larry. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, you know our friend Larry over there. Well, it appears, it, it, it seems, and this is what he said, that the Trump administration, and him of course, they're considering a return to work bonus. Uh, what does it say? A trophy for thank you for participating in the charade? That's exactly what it is. Let me put a perspective on that for you. The average person lost $9,000 of income. Some people lost a lot more. I'm talking about the average person lost $9,000 of income during this engineered charade uh, government, government uh, shutdown. Uh, this has nothing to do with the coronavirus. This is the Federal Reserve and the White House deliberately shutting down the government to allow the Fed to finish their final solution. You know that. Killed the money velocity so they could print, 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 and print and buy assets. Well, so uh, it appears that although the average person has lost $9,000, you know, those $1,200 checks didn't seem to help, didn't seem to help at all. But... According to Larry Kudlow, you know, you might be getting a, a, a trophy here. Or a thanks for playing, uh, you know, back to work trophy. You, you can't, they think that you are, you, do you realize what you're seeing here? They believe, the Trump administration, all, all the politicians, it's not just the president, I'm not picking on him, all of them, Democrats, Republicans, uh, Larry Kudlow, all these freaking creatures in the night, they think and believe sincerely that you are, number one, absolutely worthless. Number two, you can be duped into anything. And you're going to be happy to get your return to work trophy. You lost $9,000. You got that $1,200 check. And now they're going to give you a thanks for participating trophy. A thank you for participating trophy. Because again, what we have here is a joke on the world. This is a PSYOP uh, by the Federal Reserve to, to shut down the global economy. All the politicians from the president on down are playing right into it. Larry Kudlow is playing right into it. Um, 
Treasury Secretary Mnuchin right into it. Um, this is a fascist takeover here, a new world order. All the new world order catchphrases are out there, you know, alone together. Uh, in, we're all in this together, the new normal, all these kinds of things with the pretty music on the commercials, with the celebrities they're bringing out. All a new world order tactic uh, to lull you into that sense of acceptance here. Just like Kudlow, he's going to give you that trophy. Thank you for participating. You know, we allowed the Fed to take over the entire world, but thank you for participating. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you, honestly, the horror that's coming down the pike. I don't know another way to put it. Horror show. Um, they're going to come after your liberties. They're going to come after your freedoms. Once the Fed solidifies what they have already have right now, um, and more is coming, again, understand, and I covered this already. And, I, you know, that was the title of the video this morning, Parabolic Debt um, on an Unprecedented Scale. This has been the scheme and plan between the... The Federal Reserve uh, and their and their masters uh, since their inception, and they're issuing it in now to finish it. And we're witnessing a takeover on a global scale. People, I don't know another way to put it. No one's doing a damn thing about it. There's not enough of people like you and me. We cannot do a thing about it. Uh, they're too powerful. Imagine an institution so strong, so powerful that they can pull a charade like this on the world. They can shut down the global economy to allow themselves to finish their final solution to become the lender and buyer of last resort and therefore the owner of the world. That is where we are. I know you get it, but I want you to, I want you to really let that because it's pretty disgusting. All right, look, so in summary here, rally on Wall Street, uh, energy, financials really were the winners today, no doubt about that, uh, lifts the entire market with it. This charade is going to play out further. Crude oil massive right now, it's going higher. They're going to keep propping it up. Massive debt expansion, uh, asset acquisition by not just the Federal Reserve, but also the central banks around the world that they are funneling trillions of dollars to. The market is again pricing in a, a much more aggressive Fed, uh, meaning negative rates uh, for people. Uh, they're going to get destroyed. This is a deliberate attack on the middle class, again, on a scale that is very difficult to get your head around. But that's exactly where we are. And um, it's horrible to see. It really is horrible to see. But that's not going to stop you or me from being on the right side of this, from playing the game that we know how to play. Betting against this debt, becoming your own central bank, holding a hard asset, holding cryptocurrencies if you're so inclined, trading the market, uh, weaponize this entire thing against people like Larry Kudlow who wants to give you a trophy for participating in the charade. Um, you can't make this stuff up. It's too funny. It's absolutely too funny. All right, with that said, I'm going to let you all go. This guy right here loves you a lot. Please share the video. Get it out there. See you in the morning.